And uh, we're going to proceed with the uh, uh, next case while we're waiting on um, the former case to connect. Okay. Mr. So, um We have one last case other than the one, the variance that we're trying to get the audio connection. Uh, and this is a special use. It's item H1 on the agenda. Um, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's not H1. It is a special use, and it is... Uh, gee, sorry, here we go. It's item J1 on the agenda. Uh, it's a special use application 22-0063. The applicant is SRJ Restaurants Incorporated. The request is for a 4COP RX alcoholic beverage permit, which requires a separation of waivers. Uh, Israel Monsanto will uh, present the staff report and recommendation following the applicant's presentation. All right, applicant. My name is Sherry Alday. I'm, uh, my address is 22638 Eagles Watch Drive in Land O'Lakes. Um, the property is at 5229 Ehrlich Road in Tampa. And um, it is current, the build, the inside building is currently already zoned for COPRX for the restaurant. We want to increase the footprint of that to include the outdoor patio area so that the customers who want to sit outside can get the same service that they get inside. And it is um, within the 500 foot of a, the Ben Hill Middle School and two churches are located close to us also. Um, there shouldn't be, um, you know, many of our customers want to sit outside due to the COVID stuff now, they want to be outside instead of inside. So um, those three properties, the first one is the middle school, which is within 500 feet, the to their property line, to their to the actual school building is outside of the 500 feet. Um, and all we're proposing is just an additional five foot closer to the school to include the outdoor seating. And then the churches, there's one behind the restaurant or the building complex, which is separated by the actual L-shaped building plus a six foot privacy fence. And then the church property is behind that. Then there's a church property across Hutchinson, which is um, also within the 500 feet. And as far as I know, the only objection was a standard letter from the school board. So, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, so as far as the um, school, and I understand uh, the actual school building you said is outside the, it's outside 500. the 500 feet. And um, what about the churches? The churches, they are the, the one across Hutchinson, the Lutheran church is the property line is within their church building is not, mm -hmm. it's set further back. Um, the North, I believe it's called Northwest Community Church. The building actually is, but as I said, it's separated by the back of the complex. We're all the way in the front of it, mm -hmm. and it's separated by that whole thing plus a six-foot fence. Okay. All right. Um, anything further you want to add? Um, no, I don't believe so. Okay. Thank you. Be sure and sign in with the clerk. Okay. All right. Development services. Good afternoon. Israel Monsanto Development Services. The applicant seeks approval for a four cup RX alcoholic beverage permit for a restaurant which is located at 5229 Ellery Road. The requested wet zoning allows the sale and consumption of beer, wine, and liquor on the permitted premises only in connection with a restaurant. The site currently has an approved four cup SRX wet zoning under permit AB. 851216 for the sale and consumption of beer, wine, and liquor on the permitted premises only in connection with a restaurant. The current approved wet zone area is 4,270 square feet of enclosed space, and the site is located in a shopping center. The property is on commercial neighborhood, which permits restaurants and consideration of the proposed wet zoning. 
as the applicant has stated, the subject wet zoning seeks to expand the current special use AB permit wet zone, wet zone area to allow outdoor patio areas, um, uh, 1,414.1 square feet along the west and south of the existing enclosed premises. And this is indicated in the survey submitted on February 3rd, 2022. If the requested wet zoning is approved, the existing wet zoning will be rescinded. As the applicant also stated, there are two community uses, I'm sorry, three community uses within 500 feet. Therefore, the site doesn't meet the waiver, the distance requirements per the land development code. Therefore, waivers are being requested. The applicant has provided justifications in summary uh, for the church to the north, which is Northwest Community Church. Although the church is within 500 feet in a straight line, it is located behind a shopping center and it's also separated by a six foot high fence. The shopping center is L shaped and the proposed wet zone space is, on the, is located on the furthest end of the shopping center. In regards to the Messiah Lutheran Church to the west of the site of the wet zone, proposed wet zone area, the, this church is located on the other side of Hutchinson Road. The parking lot of the church is within the 500 feet distance from the proposed wet zone space, but the church building itself is outside, it's more than 500 feet away, as also indicated in the staff report diagrams. And in regards to the Ben Hill Middle School, the restaurant has already an approved wet zone in place. Uh, according to the applicant, these are the justifications. The school building and student areas are outside the 500 feet radius. It's on the, the school is on the south side of Elric Road, and this road is a four-lane busy road which separates the school from the subject site. LDC Section 61111 E3 provides for approval separation of waivers where there are special or unique circumstances where the alcoholic waivers use apply for or does not have significant impact to surrounding line uses, and certain circumstances negate the necessity for the specified distance requirements. Staff has evaluated the justification from the applicant and concurs with them regarding these waivers um, from these community uses. The proposed wet zone is within an established shopping center located along a commercial corridor. The existing wet zoning permits the sale uh, on premises consumption of beer and liquor and wine in connection with a restaurant, as will the proposed wet zoning uh, state, with the only difference being the allowance to serve alcohol in new and existing outdoor seating areas. Therefore, uh, for these reasons discussed, the staff finds the proposed wet zoning does not pose significant impacts on surrounding land uses, and the necessity for the specified distance separation requirements is negated by the circumstances identified in, in this presentation and the staff report. Therefore, staff finds the request approvable, subject to recommended condition. The condition recommended is that upon approval of this special use permit 220063, the existing wet zoning of the premises under eight, um, permit number 851216 shall be rescinded. Approval is based upon the survey indicated and submitted by the applicant, and the total area is 5,656.9 square feet. Of those, 4,242 square feet will be indoor space, and 1,414.1 square feet will be the uh, proposed outdoor areas. And I'm available if you have any questions. Thank you, Mr. Monsanto. All right, is there anyone here or online who wishes to speak in support of this special use request? I don't hear anyone. Is there anyone here or online who wishes to speak in opposition to this special use request? All right, do not hear anyone. All right, development services, anything further? No, ma'am. All right, thank you. Applicant, did you have anything further to add? No, okay, thank you. This will close the hearing then on special use um, AB 22-0063. And I believe we're still trying to make connection with variance 22-0161.
popped up. Oh, I'm here. There oh, you are. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Mike, can you hear me? Mike, okay, so we you you have your phone on you, right? Yeah. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you call in at this number, write it down for me, all right? Okay. All right. You're gonna call in from this number at four zero eight four one eight. Nine three eight eight. Now, what you're going to do is that you're going to use your video from your laptop and you're going to listen to us through your phone. Okay. All right. So, call in through that number. It's going to ask you for the access information, which is the number down two as well. Okay. This is your access code 2343 7335 4668. Okay. All right. Once you call in, that will have to ask you for the access code, and then you'll be able to hear us from your phone, okay? Okay. All right, so go through that process and give me a call back if you have any issues, all right? What number would I call you? Okay. The number that you're on right now with me. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it right now. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Welcome to WebEx. Enter your access code or meeting number. Hello. 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 Mike, can you hear us? Yes, yes I, can. I can. All right, excellent. Can you hear me now again? Yes. Mr. Kretzinger? Yes, ma'am. All right, this is Pamela Hatley. I'm the land use hearing officer. All right. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I need to swear you in, first of all, so please raise your hand to be sworn. All right, thank you. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right, thank you. Please state your name and your address. Michael Kretzinger, 17923 Barn Close Drive. Lutes, Florida, three three five five nine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Can you explain, Can please, you explain, um, you explain like, the variance that you're requesting, that you're requesting and uh, the, the hardship criteria why criteria you need the variance? Yes, we have a forty-foot wide lot that we were trying to build a, a home on. And the and original setbacks are seven and a half feet on the sides. We don't have a problem with the front and back. Um, but we're we're only able to get a house. Mike, can you that please work? Mute your phone? Oh, just mute your phone on your end, so we're not getting two loops of feedback here. Yeah, is that better? Or. I think that's that. better. Please continue. I think it's better. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, the house that we have designed that we'd like to put on there, it, we're going to need five foot setbacks rather than seven and a half foot setbacks in order to make it a livable residence for someone. All right. And, um, I guess what was the use of the the lot before? There was an existing home on there that I believe had 
that were within five foot, six foot of the uh, sides of the house. It's since, since been removed. Okay. All right, so that's all you want to do is build your residence there? Yes. All right, anything else you want to add? I'm so nervous I can't stand it. How's that? <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I mean, it, it's uh, right next to a, a marina that has acquired the property on one side. Um, and then there's an existing residence to the opposite side that I believe it's the same owner that owns this property. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kretzinger. And just stand by. All right. Is there anyone here or online who wishes to speak as a proponent in support of this variance request? Don't hear anyone. Is there anyone here or online who wishes to speak in opposition to this variance request? Don't hear anyone. All right, development services. Did you have anything further? No, ma'am. All right, thank you. And Mr. Kretzinger, did you have anything further you wish to add? No, ma'am. Okay, thank you. All right, that will close the hearing then on variance 22-0161. And that will conclude the land use hearing officer meeting uh, for today. Okay. Am I still here? Thank you, Mike. Uh, yes, uh, the meeting has concluded. If you can hear me. What does that mean? Uh, we've adjourned. So the, we, we heard your case and, get, and heard your testimony, so we're all set. Well, did they get approved or denied? They, or they don't work? approve or deny in these meetings. They just listen to your testimony and then they uh, okay. take that information and then they uh, provide it, I think, within like a couple of weeks. I'm not sure of the, of the exact time frame of that. This is just a hearing. This is just a, a meeting to hear your case. That's all. Oh. So I, I won't know for a week or two. Yeah, I don't know what the time frame is of when they, they come up with their decision. But yeah, this, this How is. How do just I get a, notified? Hold on for one second. Uh, you will get emailed and it's uh, 15 business days. 15 business days. Okay. Yep. And, and just one. It can, if, if we're not successful, can we appeal it? Mike, I'm not a lawyer, nor do I ha know that information. I work <laughs> for communication, so I would get with. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I appreciate everybody helping me with this. Thank no you. problem. Yeah, I would I would get with the All person right. that is uh that has been in contact with you through uh whether it's land development or or any other yeah. that's been that's been working with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I would talk to them right. about any of those uh, procedures. Yeah, yeah. If you have any audio issues, then I can help you. But. <laughs> <laughs> just, just I was about to say we're just here to attend and document and help. Yeah, I, I really process. appreciate that. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I just I had a colonoscopy scheduled and I can't dance, but so many dances, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Mike. All right. I really appreciate everybody's help. Thank you very much. You got it. Have a good day. Yep, everybody have a good day. Thank you.